Good afternoon. Welcome to another video and another wild camp. I've crossed the border. I'm into Kent, the Garden of England. About an hour and a half drive, I suppose, from home. And the reasons I'm over here, I had an invite from a Facebook group, South East Wild Camping and Bushcraft, I think. I'll put the link in the description underneath. They're a relatively small new group. Got an invite to come along to this group camp, so why not? New location, new people. I'll see you in a bit when we get set up on site. Here's the handy parking area, right next to the woodland. Well, it's a bit bright out that way, isn't it? Is that better? Middle of nowhere, on a little back lane. It's not exactly noisy, which is what we like. Yeah, right. We're not going to take much notice of that, are we? Wouldn't be wild camping otherwise. Right, I'll just quickly pan you round here. There's actually six of us on site. We're all hammocks because you probably can't tell on film, but it's actually on quite a slope here. So <laughs> you'd never be in a tent, you'd be rolling out the door. So you've got one there, one there, about three, three there in a sort of in a line because that was just the suitable trees. And then I'm over this side. Right, the guys are just scavenging some dead wood. We can have a little fire later. It's it's not cold, we're not going to need it for heat. But it's nice to have something to, to sit round as a focal point and you know potentially cook over some of them. I don't know what they're what they've brought for dinner. But yeah, getting some firewood together. There's dead wood everywhere in here, so it's not not difficult. Nothing needs to be really cut down or anything like that. It's uh it's more of a, a tidy up the floor type job. Here we go. Most most of the guys, sorry, and lady, um, <laughs> have, have, have eaten dinner. There's still a few bits going on around here. But uh, for, for all those that had the invite and didn't make it, well, this is what you're missing. Tough. Well, you join us with thunder in the background and the rain has started. So of course everyone scrambles to put their stuff away. And now we've put stuff away, it's easing off. We did expect it to be fair. Um, we've got thunderstorms for tonight and tomorrow morning and it's, it's rumbling in the distance now. So that's early, so who knows? Well, that was a nice social camp. Didn't do too much filming. Um, well, because quite simply on a social, it's not really polite. Um, and also, it's you know, it's guys I haven't met before, and not everybody wants to be on YouTube anyway. But uh, recorded a few snippets, let you have a look round, and so on and so forth. Um, I might film a bit more of the area in the morning. We'll. Uh, we see how it goes, but uh, definitely bedtime now. Not silly late, it's just after 11. And I'm looking forward to getting some sleep. I am quite tired. I think it's this hot, sticky weather. I'm glad I only bought the, the jungle bag. And I've also just realised that I didn't bring my little pillow. But I've got my hoodie with me and I've, I've just rolled that up and stuck it in the top for now. It'll do. I don't need much in a hammock. 
just something. Right, see you in the morning. Good morning. I think most people are still asleep. I can hear some movement. It's about eight o'clock. I slept really well. Um, it was very warm overnight. And even the jungle sleeping bag, I had to unzip it and just have it over it, over me like a blanket. <sighs> Good night though. No rain. Not a bad morning. Time for coffee. Good morning. It's just after eight o'clock. Had a had a good sleep last night, really did. It was very, very mild. Even just using the jungle bag, I had to unzip it and just have it over me like a blanket. But uh, yeah, pleasant all the same. None of that rain they forecast at the moment. Even a bit of sunshine it looks at the moment. We might escape this storm. It might be going round us because it's always a bit of a, a pain in the arse packing up in the wet. But, uh, yeah, good so far. The other guys are just starting to stir. I've uh, just put my coffee on. <sighs> Need a cup of coffee. Fired me up, wake me up a little bit. See you in a bit. That's me packed and ready to go. I was fixed to this tree and that tree with the hammock. I have the ground sheet down. The leaves are a little bit flattened, but that'll soon rough up again. The area that I'd cleared to make my drink was here. That's pretty covered. Everything's back in the bag. The others are just packing up. One's gone already. We're all just uh, getting organized. Hopefully, Get everything done and out before this rain arrives. Right, on the walk back to the car. Um, it's only probably five minutes, ten minutes, and it's all downhill, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, I enjoyed that. It's always nice. New locations and, of course, new people. It's, uh, I'm always up for a a camp with you know fresh fresh group of people just keeps it interesting really doesn't it new people new conversations different kits sometimes you know different people bring different stuff it's always interesting i'm sure i'm not the only one you get there get all set up and of course the first thing you do is have a bit of a wander around and a nosy and see what everyone else is using <laughs> but uh yeah i've enjoyed this a nice, nice little camp in the heart of Kent. I've just got to get back to the truck. Hopefully I'm walking the right path because I'm on my own. <laughs> I believe so. I think as long as I keep going downhill, I'm fine. And uh, yeah, then a drive home. Hopefully the traffic is kind to me. So thanks for watching. I think the next video um, is a, a going to do a tarp setup type video. Not sure yet. Um, I'll be filming it tomorrow. I'll be filming it on, on Monday because I, I don't work Mondays. And hopefully the weather's okay because I'm not going to go out and film it if it's pouring with rain. Right, I'm off. Thanks for watching. See you soon.